Good morning, everybody. This is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com, and we are looking at ticker symbol SPHS. This first chart is a daily chart. Uh, SPHS took off pre-market, made a huge move, um, opened here at the, the previous close was at 86 one, 86 cents, and then it opened at 331, which this uh, red line is the open. The share price ran all the way up to 415, and then now it's pulled back below the open, and it's all the way down here at 234, forming this uh, black candle, um, which is not what the, the bulls want to see. Uh, what happened here was the uh, the open was right at this August and September, um, this uh, 2014 resistance level. That was the high of this uh, 2014 here. And um, the, the that is the key level to break. So uh, bulls want to see a close above the open, the uh, a close above 331, and they want to turn this red line into a green line. Um, if uh, 331 fails to break, it will equal downside risk. As you can see, it was big resistance all during 2014. Um, there was this uh, gap down here in December that created the space in the chart, and then there was this cluster of candles, and then today there was a gap up. So this uh, this cluster here created a an island. So you have this like island, this big, very big island cluster gap, and um, now now the the share price has run back right up to these these previous levels. So if the um, keep an eye on the the gap between the high of day yesterday and uh, low of day today, because that is a there's a space in the chart. Um, if you look up here at Fasto, Fasto. Um, even though the share price is up 171 percent, Fasto um, is down. Had a bearish crossover today and is uh, um, hitting 47.99. So it's actually below the the 50 to 80 bull zone. So there is juice to run on on Fasto. Um, RSI is up here above 70. So at 89.57, that's showing the uh, the the strong move. So now it's uh, in the uh, uh, overbought power zone. And then if you look down here at volume, you see there's this giant volume spike today. So there's huge uh, volume behind this move for this uh, thinly traded stock. If you look, the uh, previous days were very thinly traded. So you always want to be cautious with uh, thinly traded stocks because they can be hard to exit out of. And then uh, if you see here, the MACD line has gone parabolic. It's shot straight up. So uh, MACD line is very steep, reflecting the parabolic move. Okay, let's look at the next chart. This next chart is a daily chart. And uh, this chart shows the, uh, the 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 big gap up open today. Um, as you can see, this nasty looking black candle is forming. This is not the candle bulls want to see. You know, they want to see a green candle. They want to see this is the open. They want to see action above the open. Um, the, the, it's trading. SPHS is trading well below the open, and um, it's trading above the upper Bollinger Band at 147. That is the first support level. Um, EMA4 at 137 is the key level to hold. Uh, whenever you see a big uh, gap above the upper Bollinger Band like this, it signals an unsustainable move higher. So um, yeah, we want to see if the um, if the candles can uh, can start a new base up here, or if they're going to work their way back into the bands. Um, th this gives you a closer look at Fasto. You can see now it's below 50 and out of the bull zone. So you have this like powerful day up 141 percent but you have a bearish crossover on fasto and it's out of the bull zone so that's uh you know a little bit of irony there and then you've got uh rsi is up here above 70. Um, this shows the big volume spike today as you can see the stock is just crazy thinly traded you know har it, hardly um, any trading on a daily basis and then as you can see the bollinger bands were very tight before this uh, bullish move and then MACD down here, look how steep the MACD line is. Um, usually when you see MACD line this steep, it signals an unsustainable move higher. This, this trajectory is not sustainable. So uh, let's look at the next chart. The next chart is a five-minute chart. And, uh, you know, I made a chart earlier and the computer crashed, but the, uh, the candles uh, this morning were above the upper Bollinger Band and then now as you can see the open was above this upper Bollinger Band and the candles worked their way back in. Um, the the This EMAs 4 and 8 at 231 are the key support levels to hold. If they break this middle Bollinger Band is on deck um, the, the at 195, that's this dotted purple line, that is the line in the sand. Bulls want to see this uh, middle Bollinger Band hold. Um, if it turns into resistance that will equal downside risk. 
If you look down here at MACD, there was just this uh, MACD bearish crossover as the uh, EMA4 is starting to bearish cross EMA8. These are all uh, bearish reversal signals. So, bulls, you want to see this uh, MACD line cross back above the signal line because um, this is signaling uh, downside risk. And then let's look at the 15-minute chart. As you can see on the 15-minute chart, there was this big gap open above the upper Bollinger Band, and the candles worked their way back into the bands. That's something that I say a lot because this is what happens. Um, when you get a move above the Bollinger Bands, remember the candles always work their way back into the bands. So that's what's happening right now, and the share price is finding EMA4 at 220 support. That is the key level to hold. That's the bullish level to hold on the 15-minute chart. If that breaks, it's going to put this uh, green line 193 on deck, and um, the 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 line in the sand on the 15-minute chart is this. Uh, middle Bollinger Band at 126 in order for this new uptrend see that there was this consolidation period and now there's this uptrend starting in order for it to continue the middle Bollinger Band must hold at 126 um, the thing is is that th this EMA 8 is all the way up here at 193 so really bulls um, if you're trading this you want to see this EMA 8 hold because if it breaks that puts the middle Bollinger Band way here at 126 on deck which could be a big drop so uh, yeah this was a very uh, bullish start to the day, but now you've got the, uh, you know, this was up over 300%, and now it's only up 165%, so you've got, you know, 50% of the upside move has been wiped out here. A lot of people are probably underwater. Um, the, the, the key to play the bounce on this pullback is to look for a bounce either off of EMA4, if that holds, or EMA8. Okay, so so if EMA 8 breaks, that's going to be big downside risk, and that's going to put this middle Bollinger Band. So in order for this play to, to stay active, to stay bullish, you really need to see a bounce off of one of these two levels. Okay, um, take a look at MACD over here. It's starting to hook a little bit. So um, MACD... Bear or bulls, keep an eye out for MACD hooking down. You do not want to see a bearish crossover. You don't want to see the green line crossing the red line to the downside. That will signal downside risk. Okay, this is ticker symbol SPHS. Thank you for viewing this chart. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please check out our website. We have videos, chats, and daily information. All right.